Hi and welcome to Chris Ryan Golf. We are in the Telemo Performance Suite here at the Belfry and in this video we're going to be looking at the balance in the golf swing and we're going to be giving you a pretty simple drill with the use of an alignment stick which is going to give you a little bit more awareness about your balance and hopefully improve it. Just before we get into that video, uh, please follow me on my social media platforms. Uh, the details should be on the right hand side of the screen now, uh, well my right, your left. Uh, there's Instagram, there's Facebook and there's Twitter. If you follow me on those, it's a good way for you to interact with myself. Maybe suggest some ideas of videos that you'd like me to see, uh, you'd like to see me do, I should say. Maybe look at some of the topics you'd like me to cover. These videos would be much, much better if I can get some input from yourselves uh, and it helps me deliver content which is going to be maybe more appropriate for the viewers. So go ahead and follow me on those. Right, so the video today is about balance. And we're, so we are going to use, as I said, an alignment stick as a drill which is going to give you more awareness about your balance. Now I was lucky enough uh, about this time last year actually to spend a couple of months using a system called BodyTrack. Now BodyTrack basically measures uh, force through the ground and it allow, enables us to track how somebody is moving their pressure through the golf swing. And what we do, what we find when we use the BodyTrack is we tend to see the same sort of patterns appearing with better golfers uh, and they're also the same sort of a patterns appearing with maybe golfers who maybe aren't quite as good as they would like to be. So we're talking in this video a little bit more about heels and toes as opposed to uh, maybe front leg and back leg. We're looking a little bit more sort of toes and heels. So I'm just going to put the alignment stick down for a moment. Uh, I'm just going to take a setup. I'm just going to go sort of down the line view. So what we would tend to find is that we should start with our balance pretty much even between toes and heels. Okay, so it should be about the mid foot at setup. Now, what we would like to see in the goal swing is that the pressure that we move is a what we call a lateral trace. So it moves directly towards my trail foot, in this case my right foot, and then directly towards my lead foot. Post impact, it's going to work probably a little bit into my left heel, but we'd like to see the pressure move in a lateral sort of fashion between the feet. What we tend to see with some golfers is that the pressure can maybe move towards the heels in the backswing. On the way down, it can often move out towards the toes. So we don't get this kind of lateral trace, we get this kind of trace where the weight or the pressure, I should say, goes maybe towards the heels and then maybe towards the toes. Some golfers may be not quite as common. Uh, often, sometimes when the golf club gets picked up too quickly, we see the pressure move more towards the toes. And all these different movements can really affect your dynamic balance, which is your sort of balance in movements, if you like. And that's going to compromise many things like the strike and the flight and the direction, all these kind of things. So let me pick up the alarm stick. Really, really simple drill. This is not going to take too long to set up. It's just a really, really simple, effective drill that we can get you to do. Pop the alignment stick on the floor. And very, very simply, we're going to get you to stand on the alignment stick with it right through the mid foot. Okay, so pretty much right through the middle of your feet. Now, what that's going to do, it is not suddenly going to give you better balance. What it is going to do is it's going to heighten your awareness of where your pressure is through the goal swing. Just because there's something under the middle of my foot, I can start to sense a little bit more whether I'm favoring the heels or whether I'm favoring the toes or whether I'm trying to keep it about in the middle, which is kind of what we're trying to do. So the first thing we're going to get you to do is take a starting position and I would do this without a golf ball initially and try and find that nice balanced point where it's about the midfoot. And all we're going to get you to is make a couple of back swings, a couple of down swings, trying to feel that we maintain that feeling through the swing. I don't want to feel at any point that it moves towards my heels or I don't want to feel that it moves more towards my toes. Okay, so I say this isn't going to suddenly give you better balance, but it's going to be a good way for you to practice. It's going to heighten the awareness. And it's going to give you a little bit more insight as to what maybe you're doing in your goal swing. So let me go ahead and make a couple of swings. I say I would do this initially without a ball. I'm just going to go back swinging through. Okay, and as I said, it might finish more in the lead heel, but we're not too concerned about that. We're looking more about the back swing as we start down. So suddenly, certainly if I do a back swing where I feel it moves more towards my heels, and then maybe towards my toes, which would be a pattern that we would see from maybe golfers who slice the ball. Maybe those golfers work the club a little bit too much inside on the way back, throw the club a little bit too far out on the way down. This is the kind of thing that you would feel if you're that golfer. If I try and make that golf swing, see certainly that felt very, very different. I was certainly aware that my heels were a little bit lighter. I felt my pressure move towards the balls, my feet more. And that's certainly what we're looking for in this drill. Once you have done 
a couple of practice swings and you've started to get a sensation of what that's going to feel like go ahead and hit some golf shots it's not going to be any different to what we've just done it's obviously just going to be a ball in the way so take my starting position get myself comfortably onto that alignment stick and then just go ahead and make a couple of swings trying to see what you feel okay and again it's more in my left heel as I finish but certainly the feelings and the sensation I had through that swing were as I would want it to be for this drill so not a bad little way to have you shots on the range it's going to give you a say much much better awareness of what you're currently doing and maybe it's going to highlight some areas that you maybe need to work on we are looking for as I said a lateral movement of pressure it wants to start mid foot move straight back towards my trail foot and then straight back towards my lead foot before we work into the lead heel okay anything else apart from that is not really what we're after let me just hit one more Okay, and again, a pretty good thing. Once you've done a couple, take the stick out of the way, and then you're really going to just try and replicate what you've done. Whatever I sort of felt I did in that goal swing, and even just doing a couple of shots there on that alignment stick suddenly feels a little different when I take it away, but I can now start to say replicate what I've just done in that drill. And again, a pretty good shot there. So quite a simple drill to do. All you need is yourself, golf club, mid iron would be ideal and an alignment stick and you can start to have a go at it and you can start to get some good feels for your goal sink and as I say it's maybe just going to give you an insight as to what you're currently doing and if we aren't moving our pressure correctly in our goal sink it's really going to have a big influence on this golf club it's amazing how what we do with our feet and, and the pressures how that affects the golf club and in turn that's obviously going to affect the ball flight out on the golf course a more neutral pressure shift is hopefully going to give you a more neutral golf swing and that in turn is going to give you a more neutral ball flight and that is really what we're trying to do with golfers is give them a more controllable golf ball and a more functional ball flight okay so hopefully that video made some sense uh, hopefully it's something you can try on the driving range give me your feedback pop your comments in the boxes down below It'd be interested to see what you guys think about that drill and how you found it at the range um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and in the description box down there there is a link to a subscription page for my channel Subscribe to my channel, it's absolutely free. It just means you'll get first access to the videos and it means you won't miss any of the content. Okay, so thanks again for watching and hopefully I'll see you again next time.